your hub for accurate, timely, actionable information. Seasoned investor or novice, we've got you covered. Welcome to Fundcode. Please bank a major player in the nationalized banking sector in India. The bank's share price stands at 68 rupees and 55 pays, marking a slight decrease of 1%. The bank's business model is broad, offering a range of banking services and its own products such as credit and debit cards. In recent news, Srinivasan Sridhar has been appointed as the non-executive chairman of the bank. But that's not all. Let's delve deeper into the bank's performance. As of March 31, 2021, Indian Overseas Bank's total business stands at a whopping Rs. 379,885 crores or approximately US$50 billion. This impressive figure is backed by a diversified advances book and a comfortable deposit base, majorly contributed by a strong current account savings account. Notably, the bank has marked its presence in the digital payments sector, gaining popularity among public sector banks. However, a deeper look into the bank's financials reveals a moderate asset quality, which despite improvements over the past few years, needs close monitoring. Moving on to the technical analysis, it's a tool that helps us understand the market sentiment. For Indian Overseas Bank, this analysis is based on popular indicators like moving averages, oscillators, and pivots. Each of these indicators provides unique insights, helping investors make informed decisions. Now let's look into the reason behind today's movement in the share price. While we couldn't find a specific reason for today's movement in the share price, it's important to note that market dynamics are influenced by a variety of factors. One such factor is the shareholding pattern. It's crucial to understand who holds the majority of shares, whether it's big institutions, retail investors, or the government. For the latest shareholding pattern, you could refer to trusted financial websites or the official website of Indian Overseas Bank. Finally, let's see what the popular brokers have to say about IOB. Our Chrysal Ratings has revised its ratings outlook on Indian Overseas Bank's Tier 2 bonds and fixed deposit program to positive. This revision signifies an optimistic future for the bank, indicating a potential for growth and stability. It's an encouraging sign for potential investors, suggesting a favorable investment climate. Remember, information is power, but always cross-verify from a reliable source before making any investment decisions. That's all for today from Funcode, your trusted source for financial insights. Before you go, though, we've got some fantastic recommendations for you. If you're into stock market news and updates, you're going to love these picks.